we are about to enter a relentless parade of powerful storm systems, each carrying the potential for tornadoes, destructive straight-line winds, and large hail, followed by sharp drops in temperature. This volatile pattern is set to impact the entire United States from Alaska to the lower 48 and it's only just beginning. In fact, we already have a day 6 severe weather outlook, highlighting a significant 15% risk area. And I strongly believe this will expand and evolve into multiple days of heightened danger. Severe weather is expected today, tomorrow, and the day after, with even tornado potential emerging in parts of Southern California, rare and alarming setup. This is shaping up to be one of the most active weather patterns we've seen recently. And in this video, I'll break down every detail. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. This developing pattern may even influence tropical activity heading into next week. Ongoing nor'easter slams the northeast right now. A powerful nor'easter continues to hammer the northeast and will linger into New England by tomorrow. Ahead of the system, New York and New Jersey have both declared states of emergency. The Columbus Day Parade was canceled only the third time in history. With one cancellation due to COVID, widespread power outages are increasing. Oregon, 1,900. California, 7,100. Colorado, 1,700. Texas, 1,900. Missouri, 1,700. North Carolina, 2,900. West Virginia, 1,700. New York, 8,400. New Jersey, 12,000. Connecticut, 10,000. Massachusetts, 5,600. The National Weather Service has issued major alerts, purple zones, winter storm, warnings green zones, widespread coastal flooding from North Carolina to New England pink zones, gale warnings across the northeast coastline, high wind warnings. New Jersey, Long Island, and extending into Boston significant flooding is ongoing, with major flood stages shown in purple and moderate, flooding in red. Onshore winds are intensifying, and gusts up to 60 miles per hour are expected along coastal regions tonight. Rainfall totals increasing heavy rain will continue through Tuesday morning, especially across New England, 1 to 3 inches widespread locally up. 2 4 inches in Massachusetts Western Severe Weather and California Tornado Threat While the East Battles Flooding. Storms are slamming the West as well. Severe weather today across Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, and parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. A rotating storm band over California will bring a rare tornado threat tomorrow. Southern California faces a stronger risk of brief tornado. Spin-up storms then shift toward Wyoming and Colorado and into the Central Plains daily. Outlook highlights today thunderstorms across the southwest and plains. Wind and hail are the primary threats tomorrow Tuesday tornado risk increases in Southern California. Wind and hail threats expand into New Mexico and surrounding states Wednesday. Severe storms shift north toward the Great Lakes region expect damaging winds and hail by Friday into the weekend. Storms intensify. Severe potential expands into eastern Kansas, northern Missouri. Iowa by Saturday, storms intensify across. Missouri, Illinois, and Wisconsin by Sunday. Storms track into the Tennessee and Kentucky valleys. Possibly reaching the interior northeast next wave. Cold. Snow and high winds, so another massive storm system is lining up behind this one. Expected. To bring snow to the northern Rockies and upper Midwest, powerful winds possible due to tight pressure gradients, severe weather threat continues. Severe, severe. Weather outlook, day 6. Saturday, a 15% risk area has already been highlighted and will likely be upgraded. But that's only the beginning. The first storm system will be followed by a second, which appears likely to miss Alaska and instead impact Canada more directly. However, it's the third storm system, arriving Sunday into Monday, that raises the most serious concern.
This one is projected to rapidly intensify, unleashing heavy snow, a wintry mix, and destructive winds, a high-impact winter event in the making. Forecast models suggest this system could deliver significant snowfall totals, measuring in feet rather than inches for some areas. Alongside the snow, there is a dangerous wind threat, especially on Monday, with severe thunderstorms, damaging gusts, and near-blizzard conditions developing across parts of Alaska. Snowfall projections currently range from 6 inches to over a foot, with strong winds worsening travel and visibility. Blowing and drifting snow may create blizzard-like whiteout conditions, especially in exposed areas. Powerful winds increasing this graphic shows the maximum 6-hour wind gust potential. This is not a guaranteed forecast, but indicates the highest possible gusts during this event. Offshore wind gusts could potentially reach 50 to 70 miles per hour. Gusts between 50 to 60 miles per hour are highly likely. While 70 miles per hour plus is possible, especially Monday as the storm pivots and strengthens over the region. Expect dangerous wind chills, power outage potential, and hazardous travel. Elevated wind risk for Alaska the wind threat has now officially increased. Slight risk, 20 to 40 percent probability of high winds from October 20th to 24th, moderate risk. 40 to 60 percent probability along the western Alaskan coast, this region will face multiple hazards at once heavy snow, extreme wind, and potential blizzards. If you are in Alaska, please warn others, prepare now. These systems form part of a powerful storm train, a relentless series of systems riding a deep trough into the north. Lower 48 also impacted from October 20th to 22nd. High wind threats extend into the western U.S., especially. The Rockies' western high plains heavy early season snow will also begin piling up in the Rockies, continuing the same storm train pattern. First storm, Clips Alaska and Canada moves across the west coast Sunday, Monday 2nd. Storm intensifies in western Canada's third storm. Targets Alaska again with blizzard. Potential and damaging winds by next week. The Pacific jet stream becomes a conveyor belt of storms three in a rose lambing into Alaska and the west coast. This setup is rare and extremely powerful. Heavy snow threat expands. This third storm is expected to produce several feet of snow. Alaska, Western Canada, Northern Rockies, Wyoming, and Montana. Hardest hit winter is arriving early, aggressively. Tropics heating up again meanwhile. The Atlantic hurricane season is not over. A strong tropical wave has just emerged off the west coast of Africa. This one demands serious attention. Around October 21st to 22nd, about eight days from now, it may enter the Caribbean and strengthen, potentially, into a tropical storm, hurricane, or even a major hurricane. If the system intensifies early in the main development region, MDR, it is more likely to turn northward if it stays weak initially. It will track farther south and west into the Caribbean a blocking high pressure near the Atlantic could prevent. A northern escape route, the Caribbean, has extreme heat. Content right now fuel for rapid intensification model trends. European model ECMWF takes it south, maybe into the eastern Pacific Canadian model, takes it north GFS model, now trending. West, then north, with a possible Caribbean hurricane ensembles, increasingly support a westward track. Strengthening in the Caribbean Cat 1 Cat to possible name. Melissa Invest's 92L current system in MDR already took the name Lorenzo. But the next name storm will be Malasand. This could be it. This tropical wave is farther south than usual, which increases the risk of it entering the Western Caribbean, the most dangerous part of the Atlantic. Basin for late season hurricanes. Final message I will continue to monitor every storm system and tropical development mentioned here and keep you updated. Please subscribe and share this information with friends and family so they can prepare we are entering a very volatile weather pattern. New Urgent Weather Alerts The National Weather
Service has issued new emergency alerts for destructive winds and widespread flooding. Wind gusts are expected to exceed 55 miles per hour across many areas. Along portions of the Delmarva Peninsula and coastal New Jersey, isolated gusts could reach 70 miles per hour strong enough to topple trees, damage structures, and trigger scattered power outages as early as Sunday. Rainfall will be relentless, with 3 to 4 inches likely in coastal regions, 1 to 2 inches inland. Even higher localized totals possible in flood-prone areas, this system is forecast to rapidly intensify from Saturday into Sunday, bringing significant coastal flooding, beach erosion, and extremely hazardous travel conditions. A link for real-time weather alerts, road closures, and flood warnings is provided below use it to track conditions where you live and prepare now. Flash flood emergency southwest parts of Arizona are already under life-threatening flash flooding. In some locations, water levels surged to feet in just 90 minutes another. Area recorded a 5-foot flood surge. This is only the beginning of a dangerous and highly active weather pattern. We will continue providing live, real-time weather coverage. So stay tuned and zoom in on your region for localized radar and storm tracking. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.